Hi guys, welcome to Global Phoenix YouTube channel. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to look at the syllabus changes that are applicable from September 2023 till June 2024. As you might know already, uh, usually for uh, syllabus changes, ACCA makes these changes in the month of September and uh, exams conducted onwards. So uh, this time for September 2023, SCCA has actually come up with quite a big list of ch syllabus changes for FR and SBR. Um, a mammoth list of 40 syllabus changes in SBR actually. Uh, so what we'll do is we will uh, make a series of videos. In the first video, we'll talk about the syllabus changes applicable for skills level papers, FR, audit and FM. In the second video, we'll talk about the mandatory uh, strategic level papers, SBR and SBL. And in the third video, we'll look at the optional papers, AFM, APM and AAA. So uh, just to give you an overview, for those of, who, uh, for those of you who are visiting uh, our channel for the first time, my name is Manikanta. I am uh, the founder and uh, faculty at uh, Global Phoenix. So as you can see here, I work as a finance controller for US group of companies and I also work as a product manager for uh, ERP group and uh, I conduct various trainings for uh, ACCA students, CMA US, CSEA, Diploma in IFRS across the country and uh, I'm also a master trainer for uh, faculty development programs where we teach the faculties how to train the students of uh, international professional qualifications and uh, I have been teaching ACCA since 2016-2017, uh, I don't remember exactly. So uh, I'm a qualified ACCA member myself and apart from that I'm also a qualified uh, CMA US, CSA US. I hold diploma in IFRS, I'm a uh, Lean Six Sigma white belt and an yellow belt and I'm an ex-member in uh, uh, IFA UK and also IPA Australia. So these are uh, a little bit uh, a small introduction about myself. And uh, so without any further delay, so let's start with the uh, series of uh, videos on syllabus changes in uh, ACCA for September 2023 and onwards. So what I have done is I have summarized the list of syllabus changes and uh, to give you a better understanding, you see uh, what happens is when we say there are 40 syllabus changes in SBR, immediately students get a kind of, uh, uh, you know, worry that so many changes, what should we do, what happens to the old books that we have, should we buy new books. Uh, sir, I already prepared from uh, previous syllabus, I enrolled for classes, should I retake the classes? Okay, so, so many plethora of questions in your mind. So, to make sure that you get the perfect information in the shortest span possible, I have summarized the complete list of syllabus changes here on the screen. You can see that summary of changes. So, for financial reporting, there are total 16 syllabus changes listed by ACCA, but out of that 16, 13 are just clarifications. You know, learning outcome has been updated. The title of the learning outcome has been changed. The level, intellectual level in a learning outcome has been increased from two to three, or uh, they have reassigned or rearranged, realigned uh, the syllabus areas, learning outcomes from section A1 to section A3, something like that. So 13 out of the 16 listed changes are just clarifications corrections title changes updates uh, you know naming change adding some words removing some words replacing some words with the latest changes stuff like that there is literally one new area of syllabus in financial reporting that is also related to your uh, economic and uh, social governance related one uh, so you have this one new syllabus change in fr and two areas of the fr syllabus have been removed so out of 16 changes. Similarly, if you see SBR, out of the 40 changes that are listed, 4-0, too huge, 31 out of 40, 31 changes listed are just realignment of syllabus areas and shuffling some stuff around, you know, adding some more clarification to the existing content, replacing some words, stuff like that. Only, uh, but 31 changes are just corrections and clarifications, but six new syllabus areas have been added in SBR which is very crucial and great news three painful areas of the syllabus have been actually removed 
सो एस बी आर स्टूडेंट्स लकी फॉर यू दैट थ्री ऑफ द मोस्ट पेनफुल एरियाज यू नो इफ यू नो एम्बेडेड डेरेवेटिव एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट दोज एरियाज हैव बीन रिमूव फ्रॉम योर सिलेबस विच इज़ अ गुड न्यूज फॉर द स्टूडेंट कम्युनिटी सो वॉट वी विल डू इज इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो फॉलोइंग दिस वी विल लुक एट द सिलेबस चेंजेस इन एफ आर ऑडिट एंड एफ एम देन इन द नेक्स्ट वन वी विल लुक एट एस बी आर एंड एस बी एल एंड इन द थर्ड वीडियो वील लुक एट द एफ एम ए पी एम एंड ट्रिपल ए ऑप्शनल पेपर्स सेलेक्टिव पेपर्स वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू कॉल दैम सो इफ यू सी द समरी हियर ऑन द स्क्रीन सो देर आर टोटल फॉर दीज एट पेपर्स a total of 92 syllabus changes are there but out of this 92 72 are just clarifications so technically 20 syllabus areas are there which out of which 14 are new syllabus areas and 6 are removed from the existing syllabus so um, without wasting any further time let's watch one by one these particular things so why i am splitting this videos into respective uh, you know groups is that if you are a skill level student you can just stick with the skills level if you are looking for sbr or sbl you can go and look at that so just for your convenience all right so that's it about this video where i am summarizing the list of changes for fr through triple a and in the next one we'll look at uh, the skills level changes all right so take care guys keep smiling and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye bye